हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ डिस्कशन ऑन अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड दिस टॉपिक इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ओके द थिंग्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन इंजीनियरिंग ऑफ कोर्स which is common to almost most of the engineering branches scientific applications and basic physics okay so today the topic which we are going to start and the various things related to it will discuss the name of the topic is scalars and vectors this is the topic of discussion okay so this topic is very important from uh, the physics point of view in engineering so it is a uh, very important okay now all the physical quantities okay from uh, mainly we are talking from the point of view of physics and engineering the physical quantities okay they are divided into two categories okay two categories first the category is which is called as scalars okay and the second category is what is called as vectors okay scalars and vectors now what is it that uh, separates or what is the difference between scalars and vectors okay suppose i say that uh, let's say a person named x just i'm an example i'm giving okay travels 5 kilometers let's say okay mr x travels 5 kilometers now here this 5 kilometers it is the magnitude it gives us the magnitude of the distance covered or traveled by mr x the length okay here we have information only about the magnitude of the distance which is covered by x mr x this is the first case in the second case if i say y travel 5 kilometers towards north from reference point okay when i say this okay another person mr y he or she travel 5 kilometers towards north from the reference position from a particular <coughs> starting point which is considered as the reference point from there he, he or she traveled 5 kilometers towards north so here this gives us the magnitude and this gives us the 
direction okay magnitude and direction here only magnitude so <coughs> sorry this gives uh, it is a particular it will i cannot exactly call it a scalar so this is the difference between scalars and vectors scalars only give us information about magnitude okay scalars only give us information about the magnitude no information about direction vectors give us information about both magnitude and direction well it is not the complete definition of a vector <coughs> but we can separate scalars and vectors through this important point of difference scalars give us only the magnitude they have only information about the magnitude whereas in a vector quantity physical quantity which is a vector there is information about both magnitude and direction so if we want to define a vector quantity okay so a vector is a physical quantity or any physical quantity which gives us information about magnitude and direction and it obeys the laws of vector addition there are various laws triangle law of vector addition parallelogram of law of vector addition polygon law we'll discuss about that but this is the definition of a vector quantity any physical quantity which gives us information about magnitude direction and obeys the laws of vector addition is called as a vector okay so this is the whole idea of the vectors okay so let us just uh, talk a little bit more about uh, the basic difference between scalars and vectors let us say <coughs> a person let's say take the same person x he or she starts from a particular point here she travels from here to here let's say the distance is 3 kilometers then he goes upwards distance 4 kilometers here <coughs> the total distance covered by mr x first let's say for starting from point o here she goes to a point a and then to b the total distance covered by mr x in during the entire journey is 7 kilometers okay 3 kilometers for plus 4 kilometers this is the total distance traveled by x but if we want to determine the net displacement from the original position then that displacement is this okay 
this here we can apply Pythagoras theorem and will come as 5 kilometers okay 3 square plus 4 square whole root over it will be 9 plus 16 25 root over it will be 5 5 kilometers is the displacement okay so here this distance it is a scalar quantity okay distance whereas displacement is a vector quantity because it involves direction involved in it because we have to determine how much the object or the person is displaced from the reference point the reference point is O okay so this is the basic difference between scalars and vectors similarly examples of scalar distance length mass temperature okay speed okay now let us understand the difference examples of vectors they are displacement velocity acceleration okay these are all examples of vectors okay force because displacement gets involved there it is a uh, it is a vector quantity now speed involves distance distance by time velocity involves displacement okay whenever we calculate speed there will consider the total distance covered by the object when we'll cal we have to calculate velocity, we have to consider the net displacement in a particular direction from the reference or point of origin. So here this is a scalar and this is a vector. Okay, So always remember the basic difference between a scalar and a vector. Scalar deals only with the magnitude of the quantity vector deals with both magnitude and direction and obeys the laws of vector addition we'll discuss about okay 